We're going to start out in the tropics first. Hey, this looks suspicious. We want to talk to you now about the latest update to the invest. Some nice little bubbling action going on with these clouds and this convection. Alrighty. This is 98L. You're taking a look at the visible satellite imagery, starting to show some signs of better organization. You know, we are going to get into a real active uh, tropical season. I would be watching this too. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Wait. <laughs> He's starting to see pictures, ain't you? I don't know if you know this. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. To so stick around. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, invest a little time in learning about Invest 98L and then 99L and then 100L. What are we talking about? We're talking about the Tommy Gun red a tat tat scatter of tropical waves firing off the coast of Africa towards the east coast and Gulf of Mexico of America. A couple of days ago, I let you guys know that in the middle of hurricane season, NOAA, the Weather Channel, and the Colorado Club for Hurricane Expertise decided to raise their hurricane forecast from high activity to much higher activity. And could it be all this action going on at the equator, equatorial electro jet line? It's almost like a dancing number. Bring out the high kicking ladies. They had a name, I forgot it. So right now, everybody's saying 98L looks safe, except for Herm. He's saying, the European people are saying, it could go straight up the East Coast. Now all the forecast models are going to yank it off to the Northwest, keeping it well east of Bermuda. So right now, even as we take a look all the way through Sunday, it doesn't look like we're going to see any effects in the United States. But this is what the models are saying straight out to sea. Now the models, this is a huge long shot because we're talking over 200 hours out here. The uh, GFS model still tries to develop something and tries to wing it around. Uh, that way. That's why I was saying keep an eye on 99L and the more convection you get, more of those thunderstorms, more heat that they release. 80% chance of seeing some more development. Either way, we're going to watch because then moving the goalposts in the middle of hurricane season is fascinating and it's enough to keep our attention. These, which could be tropical depressions that grow into tropical storms and then possibly hurricanes are more than a week away. But we are keeping our eye on overall weird weather patterns and they're everywhere, man. Billion dollar flood has Louisiana reeling. Over 30 inches of rain, African tropical wave may develop late this week. A strong tropical wave located a few hundred miles south of Cabo Verde Islands is headed west by northwest and it could develop. However, the next wave to come off of the coast of Africa due to emerge on Thursday is likely to experience steering currents that will keep it farther to the south. Free of anything uh, major, there's some tropical waves. Or on a course that could potentially bring it into the Caribbean by the middle of next week. And we are now entering the peak part of hurricane season. And tropical waves like this one can become dangerous hurricanes that do not recurve harmlessly out to sea if atmospheric conditions come into alignment. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the next six weeks is the Hurricane Super Bowl. Asterisk? I don't know what that means. Okay, so we're just gonna keep an eye out and know. Okay, peace out, God bless everyone, stay cool. I would be watching this too. Don't forget, all these little areas, these thunderstorms that emerge off the coast have the potential to become a tropical cycle in this time of year. This is really where we focus on things. We are still several days away from knowing what's going to happen with this. Eventually, you know, we are going to get into a real active uh, tropical season. So uh, that's what we look at. That next one might be 99L coming up soon.